Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to talk to you about honey buns and I'm going to show you how to make a really simple quilt block using one. So what is a honey bun? A honey bun is a strip of fabric which is one and a half inches and it's rolled up with all the other fabrics in the fabric range. So very like a jelly roll but a jelly roll is two and a half inches and a honey bun is one and a half inches. So we've got lots to choose from as always here at the sewing studio. So you can see I've got an array of colors here. We've got some Halloween ones. We've got some William Morris ones. I'm gonna open this one and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I'm just gonna slide all of these over here for a second. And then I'm gonna show you what this one looks like. And this is always the best bit. I love opening jelly rolls and honey buns. So we're gonna open it up. And as you can see, we've got 42 strips of one and a half inches wide. So it makes a really good size quilt, as you'll see in a moment. And the one I'm going to show you actually uses a honey bun roll and one of these. So these are like a jelly roll. These are two and a half inches. And for your block, you're going to need a highlight color. So my highlight color here is navy. So we've got lots of these plain jelly rolls in Bella Solids, and we've also got them in grunge. So it's an ideal thing to buy a plain jelly roll and a honey bun, or you can cut your own fabric. So I'm just gonna show you how to make that block. So I'm just gonna slide all of this over here so I've got a clear space. So as I say, I cut my own strips of solid fabric. So you're going to need a strip two and a half inches wide. And then you're going to take your honey buns and you're going to sew two strips together. So I did all of mine in pairs just to save time. And again, as you know, I like a bit of chain piecing. So I just sewed them all together in a big long line. So you've got a pair like this. And then you take your plain strip and you put your plain strip between your two honey bun strips on either side. So your plain strip is in the center. So I'll just show you that, what that looks like. So that is what it will look like. Let's just move those out the way a bit more so you can see better. So that is basically what it's going to look like. And you do that with all of your honey buns and your highlight strip, whatever you're using. So when you've done that, you then put two of these together face down. So here's another one that I've done earlier. So you put them together, right sides together, and you join them again using your quarter of an inch seam. So you can see that this is actually now a tube. So you've got two pieces stitched together on both sides. And now comes the trick. You will need a ruler with a 45 degree angle on it, so any ruler that's got 45 degrees. And what you do is you put your 45 degrees, your line, put that on your stitch line. Let's just move it away from that edge because I want to make sure that I get all the good fabric in there. So you line that up and then you cut. And then what you do is you put your 45 degrees down here on your bottom line and you cut again. And then you do that again and again, so on. And what that gives you is this, i.e. that block. And what happens is as you go along, the color shifts so you can see that you've got a lot of yellow. So we'll do one more and we'll see if that has shifted at all. So again, our next one, we come up to the top 
and we place it on our stitch line and we cut and then we come along, we put it on our bottom stitch line Cut again and you can see how the colour changes as we go along. So this one, for example, hasn't got as much of that yellow because it's up there now and then the next one's got more yellow and so it goes on. So you get a really good shift of colour. Right, so how do you lay that out? You would give this a good press, by the way, so you would press, press this out but I'll just show you how you lay these blocks. So using your highlight color here, the blue, I'm going to match that up so it makes a V shape. So you can see, oh, those two are the same. So I'm gonna choose a different color. But what we're focusing on is we're focusing on this. So you can see that we're going to start to form a diamond shape. So let's go this side a bit and that will give you a better idea. So there you can see when you join these blocks back up, you've got a diamond shape and you just carry on doing that with all your blocks, making sure that you get this diamond shape. So our next one over here, for example, is going to be like this. Let's just do another one. Like this. So as you lay it out, you can see that your dark colour is going to make a diamond shape and that's going to repeat all the way down the quilt. So you can make the quilt whatever size you want. You could even just have four like that and have it as a cushion. You could have white as your highlight strip, you could have black, you could have grey. As I say, we've got lots of different colours of these grunge ones, which are really good and they blend with all the honey buns. So as always, have fun, enjoy making your quilts and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.